reloading in a competition setting, how do I do it, and also how do I practice it. The most important part about the reload is getting it done efficiently and smoothly so it does not distract you from your stage. Because everybody knows that as soon as you mess up the reload, you try to then start rushing the rest of the stage and doing all kinds of craziness too fast, faster than you should be doing, and it ends up just tanking the stage. So you don't have to have the fastest reload, but having it the smoothest and most efficient is gonna be best in the long run. The first thing I like to teach in a reload, okay, is gonna be the gun's presented out, we're doing all we need to do. As soon as we start to initiate the reload, the gun immediately starts coming in, okay? We're not holding it out here for longer than it has to be. We're immediately bringing it back in, okay? Where we're bringing the gun back in is what I like to call the meeting point, okay? Is where the new mag and the gun meet. A good starting point to kind of find that because it's different for every person, okay? Some people kind of like to be way down here. Some people like to be a little higher. Um, the farther out from your body that meeting point is, the um, kind of the, the less distance the gun has to travel overall, so it could be potentially faster. However, I found that to be less consistent because if you introduce movement to that, you're then having this weight out here at the end of the stick, which is your arm, and it's hard to meet two things out here, okay? So the farther out, the less movement of the gun, whereas the less consistent. The inverse of that is the closer you are, I would say the more consistent you can be. Also though, the more distance the gun has to travel. So if you're all the way out here, you do the reload here and come back out, that's a lot of distance that gun has to travel, okay? So find a happy medium in between those two points, as well as don't try to be on the extremes of the height scale. So don't be way down here at your belly button and don't be way up here in front of your face, okay? Somewhere in between. Um, a good starting point that I like to kind of tell uh, uh, shooters or people who are practicing is do the same distance away from your body and the height as you would um, whenever you're pulling out your phone, you're texting, okay? So play with that distance. So I would, if I held my phone out, I'd probably text right about here. So that's where I'm gonna do my reload, is right there. We have the gun out, we're bringing the gun back in. Immediately, I'm changing my vision, my focus to the targets and from my next position that I'm running to, to the bottom of my magwell. That helps me find where the bottom of the magwell is first off, because a lot of times I'm moving, okay? And it's also a good reference point and make sure that I have an aiming spot for the new mag, okay? I see a lot of guys try to stare down a target as you're completing the reload, and then as, some, as soon as something happens, then they change their focus to the bottom of the magwell. Well, what if you just go ahead and have your focus to the bottom of the magwell, finish the reload efficiently, and then stare back at the target? The targets aren't going anywhere, okay? So just remember that. Stare at the bottom of the magwell and get that reload done efficiently. We have the gun presented out. As we're bringing the gun back in, we're staring at the bottom of the magwell. Our support hand is coming off the gun as soon as humanly possible and going to, re to retrieve the new magazine. How we're grabbing the new magazine is very important. The first thing we want it to be is consistent, okay? Consistent mag, how your hand attaches to the magazine is gonna aid in having a cons consistent reload. As well as we want the base of the magazine in the palm of our hand and we want our index finger to be along the front strap of the magazine, okay? We want the tip of our index finger to be pointing near the tip of the bullets. It does not have to be on it, but we want it to be near it, okay? That's our support hand. Our strong hand is going to be bringing the gun back in to the meeting point that we discussed earlier and hitting the magazine release, okay? We want to make sure that whenever we hit the magazine release, we're not adding any kind of crazy motion to the gun, meaning you're not doing like the tactical mag flip or you're kind of bringing it forward to bring it to hit the magazine release. None of that, just practice bringing it in and hitting the magazine release at the same time. Additionally, we do not want to hit the magazine release and have excess motion of the gun being sideways, okay? That's just gonna be all weird, and then you're gonna have to end up stripping the magazine, and it's just gonna be a whole host of troubles. So we wanna make sure to hit the magazine release when the gun is still vertical, so the mag falls freely from the gun. If you're having trouble with mags not falling free from the gun, mark those with an X, and. Don't play with those unless you have to, okay? We wanna practice having mags that fall free from the gun so that we're not um, kind of induce, inducing that training scar of stripping the mag, okay? So we're presented out, bringing the gun in, staring at the mag well. Both hands are doing their jobs. They're coming to the meeting point and getting ready to insert the next magazine. We're making sure that the mag well is pointed to our mag carrier. Our wrist is locked out so that happens. 
and we're not kind of pointing the gun way off here in no man's land or way off down or whatever it is. Okay, we're not pointing the gun straight vertical because that's we're not going to come up and around to the magazine. Well, we're pointing the mag well to the mag carrier because that's where the magazine is coming from. Once we get the first little bit of the magazine into the mag well, slam it home with our palm and then present back out. And that's kind of how you reload, okay? It's a very, very, we'll call it simple process. However, doing that efficiently, consistently, and under a stress of a stage, that's the hard part, okay? So that's how we, that's why we practice this, okay? How I like to practice this is first off gonna be in a stationary position. I'm gonna start at like a 50% to 60% speed, then I'm gonna go full match speed, and then I'm also gonna push my limits and I'm gonna go full on balls to the walls, 110, 120% speed and see where I fail and why I fail, okay? So personally for me, when I try to go too fast and I fail, it's because I don't focus on the bottom of the bag well and also I don't focus on keeping a locked out wrist. What I mean by that is if I go too fast, I just try to get it in and I can point my gun in a weird angle and I can't get that new magazine in. So when I go fast, I have to make sure strong wrist, new magazine goes in efficiently. So after I've done it for a little while stationary, I'll then start introducing a little movement. The first movement I'll do is I'll present out looking at a target and I'll do just a simple cross step as I'm reloading. Just simple as that. I'll do it both ways. I'll do that a couple times. I'll vary the um, kind of speeds I'm doing that. I'll kind of do a 50% and make sure that my uh, mechanics are good and then I'll go full match speed, making sure that I'm changing my vision to my target, to the bottom of the mag well, and back to my target, okay? Making sure that I'm diligent with my eyes and I'm not just kind of faking it for dry fire. After I've done kind of just the normal shuffle or the little cross step for a little while, I'll then do a full step, kind of like a step slide or however you want to say it, okay? You can kind of add a little shuffle if you want to or a big just one step. But we'll go just one step, one step. Once I've done the one step a lot, then I'll do actually a lateral movement, okay? This is where I kind of like to incorporate the draw if I want to. You don't have to practice from the draw. However, it's kind of a good and just easy way to just get a draw rep into the process. So normally I'll do the draw, fire again, simple as that. Now this can be from a shuffle. If you want to expand these distances, then you can do a full on movement. If you're gonna do a movement where you kinda of actually have to drop the gun down, make sure that you're completing the reload within the first couple steps of movement, okay? That's gonna be very, very helpful and ideal because no matter the distance, if you reload and run at the same time, you're gonna do both of them poor. So you wanna get the reload done, you wanna prioritize getting the reload done in the first little bit, so then you can focus on running and sprinting and getting to the next position later on, okay? Can't do two things great at the same time. 